Corey, you've just been named in the Australian side. How's it feel? Yeah, it's um, it's exciting, mate. Um, you know, to be part of the World Cup and and to uh, to be named for the uh, the first Test is um, yeah, exciting. Looking forward to it. What, what are the emotions like? Obviously, this is your second big tour with the Australian team. Now, has it changed now the second time around? No, no, it's the same, mate. Um, yeah, very fortunate to be part of this team. I mean, uh, you've only got to look at the, the stars that are you know in the side and. Uh, like I said, um, you know, I've done a lot of things in rugby league, but um, I've spoken to a lot of ex-players and current players, and they talk about the passion and uh, you know the excitement around the World Cup, and now I'll get me opportunity. Right, so the conditions here in UK are a bit different to back back home. It's cold, it's wet. Yeah, and look, it's uh, it's all stacked against us, isn't it? It's um, like you said, it's it's uh, it, one moment the sun will be out, the next minute it's raining. So uh, it's uh, that's what's to be expected, and um, I'm thinking it's going to get worse before it gets any better. Uh, you'll be happy that the, the stadium's got a roof on it at Millennium Stadium. It, it's a famous ground and it'd be great to be playing there under the roof. Yeah, absolutely. It's an iconic ground. Um, you know, there's a couple of them that we get to play at uh, throughout the tour. This, uh, you know, um, Wembley and, and Millennium Stadium. So um, I've, I've never played there. Um, so looking forward to it. Yeah, no, they tell me the roof's going to be shut, so hopefully it's a dry pitch. What, what are you expecting from England? Obviously, they've got a fairly big, big side and obviously you'll be right in the thick of the action against the big... Pommy forwards. Yeah, look, I mean, football hasn't changed. It's uh, it's won and lost in the middle, and I'm sure uh, you know, with the Burgess boys included, and you know, with James Graham, they're going to come out trying to assert their dominance in the middle, and you know, we'll be ready for the challenge. Do you approach this any differently now that you've been here, like in camp before, and you're more senior sort of player in the team now? Oh, look, you know, a lot of us have played in um, yeah, Origin football, and, and certainly you know, most of the guys have played for t played for Australia. So um, you got to you got to give them the respect when it's uh, when it's due. And um, this is a big game, and it's been treated that way. So the build-up's been great. Has it felt like sort of like a state of origin build-up? Obviously, you've had 10 days before this game against England, so it's similar to what you've experienced before back home. Yeah, it is. It, it, it has been a uh, an origin type build-up. Um, you know, it was. Um, intense at the start of the uh, the start of the, the week, and it's sort of tapering off now. But um, yeah, looking forward to it. It should be great. Uh, at Brisbane, obviously, you play a lot of minutes. You play 80 minutes for Brisbane off the bench. Has a change your approach to the game? Oh, I don't think so, mate. I, I think um, regardless nice. where uh, where you play, um, you just got to come on and do your job, and uh, that's my uh, that's my role on the side. Um, regardless of if I'm starting or off the bench, I'll just come on and do the best I can. Is the game day mo going to stay for, for for game day? The mo, oh, I'm not sure, mate. There's uh, there's been a, a bit of talk around the boys that uh, the boys are going to uh, jump on the uh, the moustache train, but uh, we'll see what happens. Is that for November, or is that just something you did one day? Yeah, it was just something we did just uh, the other week. Well, something I did, and and uh, the boys have assured me they're going to jump on board, but I'm yet to see it.